Hi, this is the Black Bear Prepper, and today we're going to be talking about lighting MSR liquid-fueled stoves. So that'd be your Whisper Lights and your Dragonflies and your in international stoves, things like that. They all light basically the same, because they're all basically the same stove. Uh, the only difference is in really the lighting of the Dragonfly and all the others is that you turn on, you're not adjusting your main valve, which is this guy right here. You're adjusting your on-off valve, your uh, simmer valve on the actual stove. Now, pretty much what you're going to do is on the Dragonfly, you're going to coat this little piece of cloth here with fuel. And on the International Whisper Lights and regular Whisper Lights, you're going to fill up this little tray here at the bottom, just, just a little bit, just like two or three seconds worth of fuel coming out. And you're going to start by pumping your stove up. You'll pump it 20 to 30 times. And we've already pumped this one a few times, so I'm only going to pump it about five times. Once that's on, on just the, the Dragonfly, you're going to go ahead and turn on your valve all the way open. And I always back it off a quarter of a turn. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on my simmer valve. Now, like I said, in the internet, in the whisper lights or all the other stoves out there, you're going to just turn on the main valve just for a couple seconds. This one happens to have the simmer valve and my favorite stove out of their whole entire set. I have a few of these um, dragonflies. They've been very reliable for me. Even though they've said that they're not very good for cold weather, it's my cold weather pick stove all the time. So it's one of my favorite stoves. So uh, what we're going to do, if you can kind of turn up here, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but what we're going to do is we're just going to turn on the valve just for a second, one, two, just about two seconds like that. Now you're going to see, whoops, broke my match there. We're going to go ahead and take it, and it's going to light up. Now you're going to see all the fuel, what you're trying to do is heat up either your gas tube on this particular whisper light, the gas tube right here you're trying to heat up, or you're trying to heat up the gas block, which is this big metal part on the bottom of the Dragonfly. Now the nice thing about the new stoves, I don't know if you guys have had an older um, MSR stove, you used to have to clean the jets manually, now they come with the shaker jet. And if you listen real close, and I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but the, there's a little shake in there, and that's the jet cleaning out. Now as the stove starts to calm down here, you'll see it almost completely go out. Just before it goes out, go ahead and turn on your gas. Now once the, uh, if you back up here, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy down. Now the nice thing about this guy it is one of the best simmering systems on the market. I can turn this guy down to almost just no sound whatsoever. Or, I can open this guy up, and it sounds like a jet engine going on. Or again, and just crank it down. And I can get it down to where it's just barely making any noise at all. Just to just keep something simmering. This is why I like this stove out of all my other stoves. Because even if you are going to just boil water, instead of having to relight the stove in between, it's nice to be able to, if you're going to use a pot for something else, just turn down the stove and then go ahead and put your pot on. One other neat feature that I recommend if you're going to buy MSR liquid fueled stoves is to get their tri-fold stand. This is great for the snow or sand. It keeps your legs from digging into the snow. Or even on regular ground or rocks, I like that stand because it kind of keeps everything nice and level so it doesn't dig in. So, again, big difference between their regular stoves and their, their ones with their actual simmering valve here is all you're going to do is use your main valve to do the same thing. So basically you're going to go ahead and instead of having it using this valve, you're just going to use your other valve to slowly turn it down. And you'll see it's really hard to get these to simmer because pretty much when you turn it off, it pretty much turns off. back up, but this particular stove with the simmer valve works, and like I said it works just so you can just turn that guy right down to almost no flame whatsoever, 
and I mean you're getting good flame off this one. This particular stove I've had, I've had for probably 15, 16 years. Uh, the newer ones come all bright and brass and clean and everything else like that, where the older ones look all rusty and nasty, but they still work about the same. Both these stoves are international stoves that run on kerosene, jet fuel, diesel fuel, all those kind of gases. The old bottles will work just fine. I like these. This is my favorite out of all the white gas stoves out there. I've used all the different ones from Primus and Snow Peak and everybody else. This is the absolute most reliable stove I've ever used in the woods. It never fails me. Saying that, I still always bring two of them. But as long as you take care of them, maintain them every year, there's no reason why it won't last forever for you. So this is the Black Bear Prepper, and have a great day.